comes again from the, the low correlation that most of the assets we have to the rest of the fixed income market and universe, as well as to risk assets in general. Mm -hmm. So you have a period where you know, EM equities were down 5 6%. Some, some different stock markets around the world, around Europe, were also down significantly. Currencies were getting hit in a, in a very big way. During that entire environment, the mix that we had in the portfolio between Sukuk, stable bank deposits, some small exposure to equities, cash, uh, ended up really reducing the volatility significantly. Excellent. And with this, we open the questions to the audience. And if you have any questions. You just mentioned bank deposits. And I was curious, are those interest bearing? Uh, if you want to comment on that, there, there are more participation, well, I'll let you do it. Uh, the banks are called participation banking, okay, where us as an investor with the bank, uh, we go and invest, invest in indigenous communities, and we both share the profit and loss. So, we might share the loss, by the way, but it never happened. Uh, for the past few years, we work with these banks. Andy Loving, Natural Investments. One question I have is, what you all feel about this fund facing over the next, say, three to six years, what we anticipate to be a rising interest rate environment. And uh, I don't know whether there's history of that, but would like to comment on that question. And then uh, the other question one becomes one with, uh, I'm an advisor with clients we want to be an SRI, and most of them, overwhelming number of them, want um, the same basically basic screens, alcohol, tobacco, gambling, defense contractors, those kinds of screens, environmental screens, is that what are the screens that this one used? So those two questions. Okay, real quick on the interest rate side. That's the concern for any fixed income investor, any, any, anything within the asset class. So two things we do. Number one, we stay short. So the average duration of the fund is about two years. Investing in some of these, again, um, good return assets but with lower duration. And the second thing that we're going to introduce later on this year is something called profit swaps. Profit rate swaps are essentially the same as interest rate swaps, but it's a way to manage your duration risk. So you're able to buy some of these longer dated Sukuks, for example, that could be five, six, seven year maturity without taking the undue U.S. rate interest rate risk. So you get the return while reducing the interest rates. We're very, very uh, concerned about rates as well, as, as is the rest of the market. Second question, do you want yeah. to take on? on yeah, the from, from that perspective, you know, uh, for the fixed income fund, these, the nature of, of the investments, we do not invest in, you know, as you mentioned, in alcohol, gambling, or pornography, or any of these, uh, you know, Ventures, because remember, in this case, we're going and investing in the primary market. We're not buying any secondary market securities. So the nature of the fund wouldn't invest in those type of uh, things. Hi, my name is Greg Garvin, Money with Mission Natural Investments. Can you speak to the um, expense ratio on the fund? The, the expense ratio of the fund is 1.49. I know it's high. Uh, for such sort of investments, but remember this uh, fund uh, uh, cost us a lot of money to build and still uh, going forward, uh, we're still actually hasn't really broke even uh, given the expenses. Uh, but of course, when the fund sizes grows, we're planning to reduce uh, the, the fees, the expense cap for the fund. But at the same time, uh, now if you, if, you, if you look at the promise of the fund, uh, it did very well compared to its uh, uh, peers in the short-term bond fund category. And uh, one reason for that, as uh, you have mentioned, is, you know, we tend to go to these indigenous communities that uh, the larger, I would say, uh, the providers would not go there and they wouldn't find the opportunities that we find. And again, the key there is that your, your net return has been top decile for the fund, even with, with those fees on a one, three, and five-year basis. Hi, I'm Sana Bhattarji, Tourism Development Work in Africa and Middle East. I'm interested in hearing more about the social impact side and the idea of doing good in the world. Um, 
talked a lot about giving money to indigenous communities. What does that look like in the sense of how are you transforming the communities? Um, and what's your, your matrix? Are you following, like, um, leaving poverty, job creation? What's your overall theory of change in investing in indigenous communities? Yeah, I'll give you a quick example, actually, more on the, on the trade finance side. We are working with the IDB, the Islamic Development Bank, and a, a sub-company of them is called uh, ITFC, Islamic Trade Finance Corporation. Uh, what they do is they specifically target uh, countries and certain sector and countries that they see directly benefiting the community. So for example, we're looking at a deal in Jordan that is a refinery that will help create local jobs but also reduce fuel costs within, within the country. We're looking at a deal in Egypt uh, that is going to be more on the textile side. They, they are financing trade for, for textile which is, again, it's all labor-intensive type of work, which helps the community uh, directly. Another deal we're working on is, in, in, is ben in Bangladesh, also focusing on local, uh, local labor and kind of improving the quality of life and introducing type of outside capital to grow these businesses and be able to deal in the global community. So that's, it's a big part of what we do on the trade finance side. It's a big part of what some of the banks we invest in locally focus on as well as some of these Sukkot investments that we have as well, that tends to be a good focus as well. Brendan O'Neill, excuse me. With BlackRock, thank you very much, very fascinating. Um, a couple of questions. Is this primarily dollar-based? Yes, 100% dollar-based. Right. Um, does it create any specific issues with uh, custodial banks that, that have trouble tracking the it's a little bit schedules. Yeah, it's it's a little bit more work intensive, and this is again some yeah, other yeah. reason for the fees, especially on the trade finance side, on some of the bank deposit side, when you're dealing with different time zones and so on. But uh, but no issues. And it, it's such a non-correlated asset. It makes me wonder if it's got a very broad market potential. Sort of managers are looking to diversify. Maybe that's a question for your marketing department. Yes. 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 <laughs> Last question, and getting the wrap-up sign. Okay, uh, Scott Copler with Ameriprise. Um, what is the average size of one of these, I call them loans, so, and um, are, do you have any restrictions as to which countries you're investing in? Uh, the loans vary. They could be as little as bilateral loans, 10 to 25 million facility. The Jordanian facility is 150 million facility. So they really vary a great deal. But not micro loans. The, the underlying might be going to micro loans, but they, again, they tend to be on, on the you know, 5 to 25 million. There are some exceptions. But at the same loans. time, our participation in that would be... Oh, our participation is small, yeah. We, we might take a million position or so in such a loan. I see. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take a, a small piece of that, not all. I'm sorry, the second question uh, is... Which countries or might you have any restrictions? Uh, we, anything that there's no restriction from the State Department and you invest in, if the credit makes sense. We're comfortable being in the country, and we're comfortable with the credit risk we're taking on that specific, specific level. Thank you. Uh, I think that's our. I think that's our time. So uh, we can continue the conversation in the uh, exhibit hall, three thirty-one. Thank you to Jamal and Ehab. Thanks everybody for coming out. Have a great conference.